Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the instructions you've been given is to look at this problem that is up on the board and to write in words how you would solve it. I didn't ask you to solve it. I asked you to write in words how you would solve it. A bakery ordered 123 crates of eggs. Each crate contains 36 eggs. Estimate to find out how many eggs the bakery ordered. Then find the exact number of eggs the bakery ordered. Rayvon, tell me what you wrote to get started with this. I would do 123 times 36, but it says estimate, so I would estimate uh, I would estimate it, so I would estimate 36 to 40, and then 123 to 120. Okay. He knows it's a multiplication problem. It's multiplication because one crate has 36 eggs, or eggs, two crates, has 72 eggs, three, K, three crates would be 70, would be 36 times three, four crates would be 36 times four. So he knows it's a multiplication problem. He knows he's supposed to estimate. Now, Raybon, do you know what four times 12 is? Um, 48. 48. So an estimate would be about 4,800 eggs. That's the estimate. That is the estimate. Now he multiplied with the estimate, and I'm sure you all wrote that. First, I would estimate the number of eggs in a crate, or the number of crates and the number of eggs in each crate. And then I would multiply that and find that product. That would give me my estimate. We know we multiplied, so we're going to have to do that with the actual numbers. We're going to have to multiply 123 times 36. Now, many of you right now are panicked, 123 times 36, okay? I showed how to break it apart and do it in the first class. Another way we can multiply is we can take our two numbers, decompose those numbers, and then multiply it this way as well. So I'm going to take 123. How many hundreds do I have? 100. How many tens? Two. So that equals... 20, and then three ones. Now I'm taking 36. I have 30 and 6. And we're multiplying. You notice I'm still multiplying my 6 times 100, my 6 times 20, my 2 in the tens place, my 6 times 3 ones, my tens, my 3 tens times 100, my 3 tens times 20, my 3 tens times 3 ones. And I can do this even easily in my head. 100 times 30, well, I have three zeros as my trailing numbers. Then I just have to know three times one. It's 3,000. I have two zeros, a zero at the end of each one. Two times three is? Six. six. 30 times 3 is? 90. 90. This would be 600. This would be 120. And this would be 18. And to find, now, this makes it very easy to multiply and get the correct, get the correct product. Because all I had to do is take 123 and make it 100 plus 20 plus 3. Take 36, make it 30 plus 6. Do the multiplication, just like a multiplication chart. 30 times 100 goes there. 6 times 100 goes there. And then I would add all the numbers that are inside the boxes. I'm not going to do it because I'm a little bit lazy right now, and I don't want to spoil the, spoil the answer for you. 
Boom, shakalak, peace out, God bless, love you to some kind. Did I say the beast? Please subscribe.